here. We are starting with our star, and we find the last 24 hours did not have significant Earth-directed eruptions, the solar wind is relatively calm, and so are geomagnetic conditions. But we had two M-class solar flares and several more in the high C-class range. We've been looking at GOES SUVI in these images, and this 94 angstroms view shows the flashes of the flares at the sunspot groups. Let's take a moment to get a better look at those active regions. As you can see, some of the sunspot groups have grown considerably, while others have lost complexity or have entered a decay phase. The big group incoming on the north produced one of the M-class flares. It is the biggest of the bunch and has considerable size to its umbral cores. We will continue monitoring those sunspots today. Let's go to the Trojan asteroids. Lucy has snapped its first time-lapse shots of several key targets. You can see those asteroids as they move against the background stars here. All of these are Jovian Trojan asteroids out near the orbit of Jupiter. Amazing study up next. A powerful lightning strike has created new materials as it struck a tree. This is not unlike how a lightning strike can make glass when it hits sand. And these materials, in this specific example, have never before been found to be produced naturally on Earth, and they provide a window into what veteran observers know as the Cosmic Thunderbolt, the great strikes in history that have painted deserts, burned rock, etc. It's an amazing find. Last but not least.